nurse on duty called and said you wanted to talk to me. Well, thank you for coming so quickly. I owe you an apology. I was so focused on what I wanted, I failed to see what was really happening. So what do you want? It's hard for me, Carly, to ask you for something. That's why you apologize, right? You want a favor from me? It's about Sonny. I need you to do something for him. I understand your need for revenge. I understand your frustration with the police department. But do you think that I can just sit by here and do nothing while you start a mob war? If I take care of the situation now, there won't be a war. Are you kidding me? What are you? You, you can't honestly believe that, do you? You're going to make this one guy, Karpov, disappear, then he'll send someone after you, and then they'll send someone You know where I'm coming from on else, this. You know I that. Don't know yes, where you you're do. Coming from. You think you're gonna take one man out and it's gonna make everything okay? You know that's not the way it works. You got away with it though. That's... With Alcazar, am I right or wrong? Completely different. W why? And I can assure you that the court is not gonna be lenient with you because it was an accident, that's why. Go do something that's good for you, Sonny. Go take care of your girlfriend. She needs you. Go make her feel better. It's impossible and you know that at this point. All I'm asking is that you just stay out of the way for once and let the law enforcement do their job. You understand what I'm talking about, but you're trying to act like you don't. In your heart, you know that I'm the only one that can make this right. When Anthony Zakara threatened Christina, you took the law into your own hands. You didn't come to me. With good reason, because I didn't want the situation to escalate. But you didn't stay within the law either. You went to a psychopath, a known killer. What if I had asked you then to start an investigation to bring in the police? Huh? Answer me. I hate it when you're right. Okay. You would have made a fine, fine attorney, huh? I suspect that's what you want me to do for you and return oh, the favor. Listen, all I'm asking right now is to don't waste your time and money on an investigation that's going to lead to nowhere. Karpov is a professional. He's got layers and layers of protection that go way beyond poor Charles. No, I'm aware of that. Then why start a task force when you're not going to catch him? He's going to make you look bad. Because I'm a district attorney. I can't just turn my back when you're about to kill somebody. Wait, okay, who said anything about killing somebody? I'm just going to make sure that a dangerous man doesn't hurt anybody again. If Karpov is killed, you're the prime suspect, and I'm going to be expected to make a big fat case against you, which is the last thing that I feel like doing. Okay, you're going way ahead of yourself right now because Karpov is around as far as I know him, right? But if Karpov ends up dead... Okay? It's a dangerous business. A lot of people, you know, would want him dead. He's better off not being in Port Charles anyway. Can't we just leave it at that? Can we just talk as friends? Yeah, but you're not gonna change you're not gonna change my mind. Okay. We both understand that Kate was shot because of your mob connections, right? That's why I can't let this go. That's why you have to let it go. Because she loves you and she will forgive you if you don't step back into the mob. But I'm telling you that if you retaliate and you go back and you go after Karpov, you're done. That's it. So is revenge worth losing, Kate? All I'm asking is that you don't waste your time on the investigation. And all I'm asking as the mother of your child and as someone who cares so much about what happens to you, is see the truth. Revenge is useless. It won't help. And for once in your stubborn life, will you please just let law enforcement do their job? Tell Christina I love her. Why is Alexis... Did you enjoy watching me try to convince myself that Sonny could leave the mom? No, Kate. I was more concerned about what you did to me and Jax. We're getting divorced. I'm sure you're happy about that. No, Carly, I'm not. It's all so ridiculous. I wasted so much time distracted on all of the wrong things. It's ironic, you know? I mean, I wanted so desperately to spend my life with Sonny that it almost got me killed. I wouldn't wish what happened to you on anyone, Kate. 
Or should I say Connie? I, I didn't. You didn't what? You didn't know that you had been outed as Connie Falconeri from Bensonhurst? I mean, it's kind of hard to miss when you and Olivia are screaming at each other. We could hear it all the way in the church. You know what, Carly, <laughs> whatever you think, I believe that Sonny wanted to leave the mom, that he tried. Okay. And I don't know what's going to happen with us, but I do know that he will listen to you and that he wants to avenge me. And I need for you to stop him. Wow, this is really funny when you think about it. See, my whole marriage blew up because of my connection to Sonny, and now you, of all people, want me to use that connection to help you. You know, Carly, I actually thought that you might be graceful about this. Graceful? Mm -hmm. When you did everything you could to rip my marriage apart, you're insane. Let me tell you something. I can't stand you, Connie Falconeri. I think you're a fake, and I think you're a phony. The only reason I'm going to go talk to Sonny is because he's still my